This is an iPod Shuffle, and believe it or not, I got this for free from Swagbucks. And it's one of the only things that still seems to be available for people living in the UK. So I decided to get one. <laughs> so just a simple unboxing, I've never had an iPod Shuffle before. Um, you can see in there, it's obviously one of the new ones, 2GB silver. The the one without the screen, ultra slim, unbelievable how small it really is. I never expected it to really be that that small in real life, but as usual, Apple amazes me. So this should be a very simple unboxing for such a small and simple product. There's various things to peel off. I'm not entirely sure how much I'll be using this yet, but I've had it sitting on my desk for a few days now and I can't resist opening it anymore. And there it is, lovely silver iPod shuffle, and it even has that wonderful apple smell, apple al aluminium. Now we we'll have to work out how this comes off. It comes with the earphones which have the little buttons on, like the remote, because obviously there's no buttons on this, which is strange. So I'll maybe be able to use the earphones with my iPod Touch as well. There's always something complicated about Apple's packaging. I can't <laughs> figure out how this little bit of plastic works. There we go, it pulls out. All stuff to peel off. Okay, <laughs> the rest fell on the floor. <laughs> no, it's good enough. I've just about got all the plastic off. There we go. And that that's unbelievable. That is a two gigabyte iPod. It's so light as well. That would be very easy to lose. I've got to smell it again. <laughs> there we go, iPod Shuffle. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this. Um, it's not a new product anymore. Um, I've got the specs here. 10 hours battery life. Um, it's got voiceover. I'll have to try that out to see what it's like. Obviously the iPod Shuffle comes in many different colours. But there we go. <laughs> Did you expect a good unboxing from me? I didn't think so. Right, there is the earphones. I don't know how to get these out. Oh, there we go. Right. Oh, these are all wrapped up as well. Apple could use even less packaging to get rid of these silly sticky bits of plastic. And even more, holding the earphones in. I'm sure they'd stay in by themselves. Right. So the earphones are pretty much the same when I get that out as normal Apple earphones, I happen to have some here so that bit is identical the only difference with these ones is that it has somewhere that the player controls to adjust the volume use the voiceover feature um, change the track everything that you can do on an iPod shuffle because it's got nothing on the, the iPod itself. 
so Apple have like what is it one four different sets of earphones they've got these with the microphone as well and the in ear ones but obviously they always just give you the cheapest ones possible to go with a product you've bought but like I said I didn't buy this Swagbucks is a great site it does work especially if you refer lots of people so earphones iPod a bit of card saying iPod shuffle right that's short that that that's the charging cable right that's gonna be awkward I might need a USB extension for that because of my USB ports are in the back of my iMac and that would leave the iPod dangling behind they, they could have included something at least a little bit longer The, or even two cables they, they charge you enough for this thing if I was to have bought it right finally a little start here guide and then that's everything from the box um, oh we've got all sorts here let's start with the start here guide set up and connect should we set this up now? might as well I don't know how I'm going to connect this so t this unusual compared to the other iPods it just goes in the headphone jack and charges and syncs that way and then obviously there's a standard USB 2.0 port on the back so download and install iTunes obviously I've got it use the USB cable, they call that a cable that's a pathetic excuse for a cable follow the on-screen instructions sync content while the battery charges okay on the actual iPod we've got the on off switch um, actually have we we have one button and I'm not sure how it works we've got a status light um, which is that little thing right under the top in the middle the earphone port this is Oh, I get it. This little switch has three settings. Oh, it's, al it's already charged. That's nice. Well, it's at least got some power in there. The light came on. Seemed to be red. I would assume it's supposed to be green. So that probably suggests that it needs charging. Yes. Goes red, orange, or green depending on how much power is in this thing. Now that's good. So it has it can be the off slid to the middle setting which is play in order and of course shuffle. It is the iPod shuffle, so the only physical button is to turn that feature on. So on the earphones we've got volume up, down, play, pause, next, previous track. Um and the voiceover thing to hear the current song title, click and hold the center button. To change playlist, click and hold center button and release after you hear a tone. When you hear the playlist you want, click to select it. Now that's... I, I, I'm intrigued to know how easy it is to use this whole voiceover feature and control the iPod without any buttons on the device. Um, just by listening to the voice. But we'll see. I'll, I'll be doing a review on this even though it's like months since Apple released it. Um, more information about the light when blinking, eject before disconnecting. Okay. If your iPod shuffle stops responding, or you see a solid red light, connect to iTunes to restore. So, Apple say that the iPod shuffle could stop responding. Uh, that's odd. Okay, we seem to have the start here guide in some of the languages. I'm not sure what they are. And we've got important product information. Oh, we've even got Apple stickers. I'm glad I unboxed this now, because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. 
little tiny apple stickers. Wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to plug this into the back of my iMac. Actually, it might work in the side of my monitor. Because the Dell U2410 has a USB hub built in. But whether it will supply enough power, I don't know. Right, what colour is the light supposed to go? I guess green. Oh no, orange when the battery is charging. Oh, welcome to your new iPod. So this is in iTunes now. Let's get started. Regi so I have to register my iPod, set up your iTunes store account. So I've, of course, got an account. Because I do have an iPod Shuffle. So I have to accept the license agreement. You wonder how many Apple stickers? Um, quite a few. Okay, log into iTunes. It's asking me to register the iPod. Um, and put in all of my information which is already there okay then then what do you do for a living what is the age of the primary user of this iPod which of the following statements best represents this iPod um, an addition Okay, that should do for that page. Okay, once to call it Jake Wright's iPod. Now that's not descriptive enough, so now I've got two that will sync. So I'll call it Jake's iPod Shuffle. Automatically sync songs to the iPod. Yes, enable voiceover. Enable, so you could disable voiceover. How else would you? You, uh, I suppose you could still use it, but disabling voiceover would be a silly idea. Apple software update. Voiceover, though, there's an update to voiceover. So now I have to install that. It does seem to work hanging out the side of my monitor there. I can tell this is going to be another long video, but. Most of my videos are unnecessarily long. Jake's iPod Shuffle does not have enough space to hold all of the items in your iTunes library. Well, I could have worked out that one out for myself. This is a 2 gigabyte iPod, I've got 10 gigabytes of music in iTunes. It's not going to fit. iTunes will sync a selection of songs that will fit on the iPod. Okay, do that. The iPod Jake's iPod Shuffle cannot be synced. The required file is in use. Hmm. Any ideas, anyone? <laughs> it would be helpful if it told me which file was in use. It's just repeatedly giving me the, the same error now. Oh, it's, it's copying some files though, so that's good. So I don't know what it's going to put on. Random songs, I suppose. And I guess I'm going to have to wait for the whole thing to sync before I can use it. Or I could cancel it. So now it's downloading the voiceover kit. This is clearly going to take quite a while. So expect a review, possibly not a brilliant review, 
there's not much to review for the iPod Shuffle anyway uh, in a couple of weeks it's still downloading voiceover kit even though it should already be on the iPod Shuffle Yeah, that's not going to finish anytime soon. You can come and join us. Um, the people you see talking down here, um, they're all in the live IRC channel, which you can find on the Geekshed IRC network, irc.geekshed.net, hash Jake is the channel name, or as Omnitrix, one of the bots has just posted, live.jakeride.net is where you'll find the live stream, the chat. I'm just trying to make this last a bit longer and hope that voiceover finishes downloading. If you're still watching now, you must be really bored. But thank you, thank you for watching my whole video. Now oh, it's back to it putting music on. I, I don't think it wants me to stop it. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. And we can kind of pick up in the next video. So, like I said, find my blog, my live video stream, the live chat, and lots more at jakewright.net. Thanks for watching.